Hi, welcome to this new video dedicated to the new Nano Hexacopter. This is a new FQ777. This is a Spider 126C. So this is a first of all a pretty nice Hexacopter, including a 720p camera. So as you can see on these uh, photos, uh, you have a kind of big nose and style in front, welcoming the 720p camera. Let's open the box. So. Uh, First of all, as you can see, everything comes into this uh, transportation radio uh, control. So everything you need is including in this uh, transportable packaging. Uh, the radio is a little bit like a game pad, okay? And uh, a nice feature, if you are a Mod 1 flyer, you just need to reverse your radio to be able to fly in Mod 1, okay? So you have to set either the Mod 1 or Mod 2 by uh, pressing a button while turning on the radio. Um, you can just raise this uh, plastic transparent uh, uh, cup and you will be able to access to the uh, Nano Exa Copter. Look how cute is this uh, uh, Nano Exa with this big, big nose, you know? It's remind me a little bit a kind of, uh, I don't know, a cartoon uh, character. I can't remember exactly uh, which one. Anyway, so, um, Motors are 6 mm by 12, so like any nano uh, quadcopter, exactly. So the smallest, smallest, smallest uh, coreless uh, motor you can find. Props are also identical to any uh, uh, nanos. And uh, well, no foam has landing gears. But the first good news you can remove uh, the uh, battery. Uh, the battery is one cellular lipo, of course. It's a 220 milliamps per hour, ending with the uh, uh, mini GST connector in 1.25 mm uh, size. They were connector are uh, uh, priorities are inverted on the connector as well on the uh, 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 and the one installed on the exacopter. So don't mix this lipo with other type of lipo with uh, 1.25 mm uh, mini GST connector. So um, uh, look the uh, battery bay, uh, I don't think it would be very possible to welcome a more larger one. Anyway, uh, with this uh, LiPo, uh, the flying duration is quite good. You have uh, between uh, five to six minutes when, uh, and with the camera turned on, it's uh, pretty, pretty good. No power switch installed, so you mean that you will need directly to connect the uh, uh, mini JST and you can find some very strong LEDs, very brilliant, red on front, blue on rear, okay? So uh, the first drawback I will found is all the props are white. I would prefer to maybe to have only the front ones of white and the rear in black. It will help to keep orientation. Second point, uh, if you have some LEDs and stalbiness, you don't have any frontal one. I don't know, it helps a lot to keep orientation and, we, and with such size, it's pretty hard beyond 20 meters to keep uh, carefully your orientation. Um, on the top, right position, you have a small microSD slot where a 4 gigabyte micro card is installed, pretty good. So that's always good when for such toys you have a provided microSD card. And look, the camera can be adjusted in orientation only uh, to uh, target the ground, unfortunately. I would prefer maybe to have also some positive axis. Maybe it would be possible to mod it. Um, the uh, lens is a pretty, pretty small. In practice, it's an M5.5 mini uh, uh, lens thread size. So one of the smallest uh, lens thread, it means that uh, you can't really find some compatible wider end lens, but it's announced recently a one who should be compatible and be installed on this one. Uh, if you want to increase your field of view, okay, it should be possible. It's, it will be under testing. Anyway, um, I will say that I was extremely positively surprised by the stability in video of, the, of this um, with such camera. Uh, it's absolutely jello free. It's pretty smooth, and I'm impressed because this quadcopter is pretty, uh, exact copter is pretty light. Okay, with this uh, LiPo install, you have a machine, weight uh, less than 28 grams, 27.8 grams. So, okay, it's more heavy than a classic Nano 
would reach uh, approximately uh, uh, 15, uh, 16 gram. But this one got a much larger battery and got uh, six motors plus the camera system. So for 28 gram is not so bad at all. And the video are absolutely zero free. It's amazing stable. The drawback, um, I think the lens install uh, is not out of focus, but you have a blur uh, feeling on the video. I think uh, the lens quality and this kind of plastic lens is not strong, good enough to support the 2 megapixel of the 720p camera uh, uh, sensor behind. So maybe with my uh, mode to install a wider lens, and it's also assumed to be a 2 megapixel resolution one, you should also not only improve the field of view, but the general quality of uh, your video. But anyway, I really, uh, the, I would say the strong and good point of this machine is this general video quality, even it's a little bit blur, but it's amazing stable. Uh, the field of view is unfortunately too narrow. As I said, you have something like 70 degrees, that's a drawback. It should be at least 90, 120 degrees, should be amazing. Um, well, one word about uh, the um, uh, radio transmitter. Uh, you will need four AA batteries. Uh, any image are working, okay? So two have to be installed on top and two are below, okay? Um, you have this power switch uh, be, uh, be, uh, behind, and well, one drawback, the button, okay, are very tiny, so it is a little bit hard to not be confused uh, when you are flying to not, to not be wrong with the button. Anyway, uh, this button is to turn on or off the LEDs of the transmitter. This one is to uh, turn on the headless mode, this one to uh, turn on the return to home, uh, you have to know that the Atlas and return to home was quite efficient. And the Atlas, in fact, has to be used more with the expert mode because the uh, in this one, the rudder, the yaw rate is just too fast to be really uh, flyable in strong uh, uh, fast forward. Is more to perform some pirouette on yourself while uh, the Atlas mode is turned on. Uh, this uh, button here, okay. Uh, is to turn on or off the video recording, a breath press, you will take photos, long press, turn on video, long press again, uh, turn off recording. Uh, this button is to select, if you click on the left stick, uh, you will enter into intermediate spin mode, one more time, expert mode, and one more, you will cycle and return to the beginner mode. Uh, this, on the right click, if you press on it, you will perform manual flip. Okay, so what you will find also behind, you, have, you can stock all the accessories. For example, the USB charging cable to plug to your computer, a prop guard, okay, uh, a bag with uh, spare props, that's good, but also some stick extender. So if you are not, uh, I will finish, a screwdriver and a micro SD card reader. Uh, you can find also a uh, mini uh, GST connector if you want to charge your LiPo with your uh, battery of your transmitter. If you are in the field, in the ground, you don't have time, to, you don't have any PC close to you, you can recharge the internal battery thanks to this battery uh, of the transmitter. That's a good, good point. Really, I like it. Um, as I said, if you are not uh, crazy about uh, the same stick, you can install this uh, stick extender. We will fly more with our index and figures at a pretty good point. So, one word about uh, this flying characteristic. I say close to uh, six minutes of flying duration, that's pretty good. Bright LEDs, it's fast from the beginner range, it's amazing, and the yellow rate is already fast. So, I will say that it's flyable in fast movement from the beginner to the intermediate mode. In expert mode, the uh, pitch and roll angle are increased, but the yaw to end, it become very hard to have precise, smooth flight. And as I said, beyond 20 meters, it's pretty hard to keep your orientation. So you won't have a precise, and it's very, very hard to keep orientation. It's not really compatible with the fast uh, yaw rate, in my point of view. So for large, large banking, and uh, I would say that intermediate mode, it's more uh, be it's better in my point of view. Okay, so um, uh, to calibrate your zero is pretty easy. You have to push both stick in lower or right position, if I'm not wrong, or lower left is usually classic. One word about the radio transmitter. 
uh, protocol infortunately is no more compatible with some former FQ777 model no more using the so-called anti protocol who was deviated uh, so uh, it's another uh, radio protocol it's really a shame for each model the a brand is changing in the radio protocol I don't really like this attitude but anyway it's like this the control range is a uh, drop um, drop off free from a, a, a radius of 20 meters, 25 meters. I observe maybe one point when the battery starts to be weak, I observe more dropout uh, close to this distance. I don't know if it's linked or not, but it's like this. Anyway, you can always perform the antenna mode by drilling a small hole. You have the, I think you can draw, drill a small hole around this space, maybe in the opponent side of the micro SD card, around here to install the antenna vertically. Okay, it should be possible. It's pretty easy to access to the antenna. Just remove these six screws and clips, the motor uh, clips here and the motor ports and you will be, uh, you release the both side of the uh, canopy. Okay, so I will end this uh, unboxing quick analysis. Please check my orders videos of this uh, little nice machine. Really, I like this uh, exactopter, how it flies and how the videos are rendition. Uh, it will deserve probably the antenna mode and to the installation of the wider uh, lens, a field of use with an M5.5 compatible lens. I will give some links about it. And uh, okay, I hope you like this video. If you like it, please submit. And if you like my channel in general, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.